What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Online. And today I want to make a video kind of talking about the smaller player lobbies that we're experiencing in-game. Some people really enjoy them, while others do not really like it so much. Um, I really have not had an experience with smaller lobbies uh, kind of until recently. Uh, when everybody was reporting them a few weeks back, I was still getting into lobbies with like 14 players plus. I wasn't really seeing these lobbies, you know, like two players, three, four, five, you know, mostly kind of just really, really small, under 10, I guess. And it's kind of interesting to me that some players really like this situation because it does seem to run a lot better, in my opinion. It seems like you can find legendary animals a little bit more easily. But then, like I said, it's kind of odd that some players really do not like the situation whatsoever. I'm not sure why these servers are acting like this, you know, because it was... A lot of players reporting that the smaller servers, you know, that they were getting in them uh, for like a week or so. And then people started reporting they were back into full servers again. And that only seemed to last for a couple days for the majority of the community. And then everybody in the last week has gotten back into, you know, these smaller kind of player pools. This last week is when I really have experienced really small player servers. This lobby that I'm in right now, I'm running a long distance delivery. And it was me, one of my friends, and one other person. It was a nice experience because, like I said, you didn't have to worry about, you know, too many other players being around. You didn't have to worry about, you know, not being able to find legendary animals. As you're going to see here in just a second, we're going to run across the legendary cougar right outside of Blackwater. Even though, once again, this is supposed to be a nighttime animal, uh, this thing did spawn during the middle of the day. But that's kind of beside the point. Um, I I'm just kind of curious what everyone thinks. I would like to see a comment. Do you like these small lobbies or would you rather have a larger you know, player pool in each lobby that you're in? I feel that it just may be something, you know, kind of bugged out. It's not really supposed to be happening this way. I could be wrong. Rockstar could be testing, uh, you know, smaller player pools. A lot of people think that they're testing these smaller player pools. That way, the game will, you know, run a lot smoother. You know, it does feel like it has less bugs and less issues when the player lobby is a, I guess, kind of below 10 instead of being, you know, 10 or above. Um, I'm kind of curious what everyone thinks. Do you really like the situation? Would you rather see a lot more players? Do you like to have the smaller player lobbies to kind of to yourself? Because kind of in general, in my opinion, it still feels like the lobby itself or the kind of environment is very alive. There's a lot of stuff going on. The reason I say that is because a lot of these stranger missions, a lot of these little things that go on in game that you may not get to see usually because, you know, the player pool is so large in a lobby. A lot of this stuff is done or over before you ever get there. Sometimes there's, there's been things that I have seen in the last week that I have never really even experienced in the game, but once or twice before, because if there's a large player uh, account in a, a lobby, like I said, a lot of this stuff is already done. A lot of this stuff you never see kind of go on. A lot of these just NPC interactions, a lot of the little small stranger missions that pop up are really not ever there. And with these smaller player counts, I'm starting to experience a lot more of this stuff. So to me, it feels like the lobby itself is more alive, even though there's less players in it. Anyway, like I said, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.